A need to belong is only natural. But sometimes all you ever get from following your friends into the river is a trip over the falls. Not always easy to judge when to go along with a crowd, when to be an individual and stick with what you believe. And that's what this episode of Still a Beaver is all about. Oh, hi. Can you be eating with us tonight? Mr. 
Cleaver, are you a real ball player? Well, no, not exactly. You see, my office is just in the softball league. Office? It'll hurt my dad's morals. Morale, Holly. And I better get going. If I'm late, Lumpy makes me do extra push-ups. Oh, by the way, Oliver, you have a good time tonight. But remember, Kelly's slumber party is strictly off-limits. That goes for you, too, kid. Dad, why would I want to spend the evening going on treasure hunts? I'm watching cartoons with a bunch of goofy little girls who take the smirk seriously. Oh, good. Now I can concentrate on my game. Knowing my household is in order. Good night, guys. Okay, bye. Bye, Are they really going to have treasure hunts and lots of cartoons? Yeah. But I think Kelly will tell you all about it tomorrow. Over here. Did you find a clue? told me to de-emphasize my competitive nature with you. Would you like some punch? with Duffy and the lead. Thanks, Skip. Don't mention it. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? Do you want to throw rocks in the dryer? Nah. I know. We can pretend we're space rangers stuck on the planet Rylos, surrounded by thousands of giant, angry lizards. <laughs> nah, we did that yesterday. That doesn't. Why don't you two rocket scientists stop talking and go out and do something with your lives? <laughs> you know, Kip's right. So, uh, what do you want to do? Let's go spy on your cousin's party. You heard Dad and Grandma. They don't want us really going over there at all. Oliver, you know how it works. They tell you not to do something. Just so you want to do it even more. Then you do it, they get to yell at you, and everybody's happy. Yeah. 
So they call me. Wally's too cheap to pay a plumber. Now, what's your excuse? Oh, uh, we caught a frog. Isn't he a beauty? And he can almost fly, too. Want to see? Uh, maybe later. If I didn't know better, I'd say you two clowns were here to crash the debutante's ball. No, Mr. Haskell. The frog story we made up is true. And I suppose you're going to tell me you haven't been upstairs to short sheet the bunks yet? What am I talking to here? Two healthy American boys or a couple of meter maids? <laughs> You're missing out on a chance for some serious fun here. I remember at the eighth grade sleepover, your Uncle Wally and I got Beaver to sneak over to the girl's side and put mayonnaise in the sleeping bags. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, really? Dad and Uncle Wally really did that? See, they're still talking about it down at the dry cleaner. <laughs> And you got a bunch of girls. You can't waste a perfect combination like that. It's unnatural. already cold, oh, honey. Oh, boy, we'll find it. Come on. Yeah, I think I can get it, Wally. But I'm worried about the electric wires near the pipes. You're going to have to cut the power. Yeah, okay. Hey, girls. Girls, don't be scared. We're going to turn the lights off for a minute. Breaker box is outside. Mary Ellen, you know what I could use? If you got some... Mary Ellen, if you got some rags. Sure, hold on a sec. Eddie, will you hurry up? Lighten up, Sam, huh? I'm not charging you by the hour. Oh, hold it, I got a 
going. Put the light. Well, maybe you'll think about that next time you decide to toss your cookies in the sink. and I'll cry if I want to. You would cry too if it happened to you. <clears throat> I'm on the case. <laughs> okay, girls, go cry. Yeah, I think you're going to love this. What is it? Is it a concert? Well, no, but there's a lot of good music in it. It's a little slow, but it really picks up when he gets caught in a tune in that. As much as I love camp classics, I think I'm going to go upstairs and do a number on my hair, if that's okay with you, Kelly. Oh, sure. Go ahead. No problem. Hey, Lee. Can I come along, too? That's cool. Well, we better get up there before they find that out. <laughs> 
you say that now. But one day, you wouldn't think of having a party without boys. Yeah, with my life, boys will probably make me break out. Did that make up junk come off easy? Probably not. I've never seen my mom without it. Oh, uh, hi. We thought you guys would be a slumbering by now. Second son and us make up like we're going for a rock concert in Chicago. How are you getting there? We're just pretending. We're going back to watch the movie. Come on, Kelly, grow up. Let's go, Maxie. Hey, how did you get that blue color on your eyes? Come here, I'll show you. I've been to Chicago a few times myself. <laughs> Rebecca, can you do something for me, too? Sure. Why don't we start by doing something with that hair? My hair? I don't know. No problem. If you don't want to do this, just go back downstairs and see how the big fish is doing. What do you have in mind? Let's just use our imagination. I would have thought these teeny weeny weenies would have been a bigger hit. Yeah. Next time we'll have to try those teeny tiny tacos. Why? are a little fancy That's exactly why I'm kissing you in this room. Uh, there, uh, I think I got it. Why don't you uh, see if you can just... I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, are Oliver and his little friend Duffy here? It seemed to have disappeared. And Dad figured, we'd look here first, since this is the last place we're supposed to be. Hey, look, don't you think if those two boys weren't in this house, we would have heard about it by now? Yeah, everything's been peaceful since we put the movie on. No wonder. There's nobody out there. That is so open. I love it. Wow, Kelly, you look different. I know. over. And even though you probably don't like Kelly's new hair as much as I do, she only did it because her friends ditched her party and they started doing dumb things first. Thanks, Ollie. I wish I could say something to get you in much trouble. Don't feel bad, Kelly. It wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. No, I'm sure the beauty parlor can return your hair to its normal color. You mean like they always do with yours? Uh, sort of. Uh, Kelly, it's not the color of your hair that we're worried about. No, we're just upset that you let those girls pressure you into dying in the first place. But it was my party, and I didn't want to be left out of it. Kelly, there are going to be a lot of times when you'll want to go along with something just to be part of the crowd. You don't have to lecture me anymore. Because I feel like the dumbest kid that ever lived. Well, maybe it's better that this happened to you now. So that next time when the gang says, Hey, come on along, nothing bad's going to happen. You'll know better. Don't worry, Dad. I'll never forget this. I'm going to be the only kid in Sunday school tomorrow morning who looks like a skunk. <laughs> President Lincoln.
Michigan to me. No way. Looks like Michigan. I don't think Michigan has a big nose. How would you know? I've never been there. You know, that guy looks like a flying pig with feathers. Ollie, you're cracked. Hi, guys. What you doing? Oh, we're just making believe clouds are real stuff. Hey, that's great. You know, I haven't done that in years. <laughs> you know, that one kind of looks like a flying pig. I'm getting out of here. What's wrong with him? No imagination. <laughs> Coming up next, join host George Plimpton as he takes you through the world of exciting Disney cartoons on Mousterpiece Theater, here on the Disney Channel.